Welcome to Lesson 2, where you're going to learn all about the National Mahjong Lee card. Are you ready to get started on Part 2 of Lesson 2? We are going to be forming hands, and you will be participating in interactive activities. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start out with the 2023 section sample hands. On the left panel of the card, upper left section, and I want you to go ahead and locate line one, which it says right here under the hand, line one, so you can follow along with me. This hand has a pung of two cracks, a kong of white dragons, otherwise known as soaps, it has a pung of two dots and a kong of three dots. And in parentheses on that line on your card, you will see it says any two suits. I have decided to use in this sample hand the cracks and the dots. Now remember, this can only be twos, zeros, twos and threes. So I decided to use the cracks and dots, but if you wanted to, this first set of pung tiles could be dots and the two dots and three dots at the end of the hand could be cracks, or you could throw in bams for either the first two cracks and then choose your second suit for the two and three dots. The dragon tile shown here are Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde white dragon, also known as soap tile, is shown on the card as zeros because, of course, that's what they turn into when they're used in these numbered hands in the 2023 section of the card and as well in the singles and pairs section of the card, the bottom hand, which is what we call the big hand with the highest value. And that one also has the zero in it. But this entire section will use zeros and, of course, dragons as well, and even flowers, as mentioned, that flowers might be thrown in, and even wind tiles might be thrown into that section. So here it is. That's the hand played out. So take a look at that and see if you can picture this hand made with real tiles. Now I do want to mention that if you happen to have a Mahjong set with you and you wanted to take your set out and put them into suits and in number order, you could actually follow along and make these hands yourself while going through the lessons. That would be very beneficial. You don't need to have a set for learning the game because you can play online or you might be playing with other players at their homes and they will already have a set. But most every person who learns the game does eventually purchase their own set of tiles. Let's look at the hand here shown as number two. And underneath this hand, it shows that we're going to be looking at line three on the card. And it also says in parentheses, 2023 can be any suit, the pungs, any dragon. And remember earlier, I had mentioned that this really should say pungs, any two dragons. So keep that in mind when we talk about this hand. This hand begins with a Kong of flowers. And let's focus on the 2023 first. This can be any suit. Here we show the BAMs, but you could also do cracks or dots here. And then in parentheses, it says Pungs, any two dragons. So that means you could use your white dragon or otherwise known as soaps here and your green dragons here. Now, I am going to, from this point on, refer to these white dragon tiles as soap, just for ease and explaining things. 
because soap is my preferred way to name these tiles. So again, we're showing a pung of soaps and a pung of greens. And since it could be any two dragons, you could use reds and greens or soaps and reds. Whatever two dragons you want to use is fine. But remember, the tiles in the grouping in this pung and in this pung must match. So you cannot use one soap, one red, and one green. They must all match in the individual pungs. So let's move on to the next section on the card. 2468 is right below the 2023 section. And we're going to start out with this first hand here. And we will be looking at line number two on the card. And in parentheses for line number two, it says any three suits, Kongs, any like even numbers. All right, let's break this down a bit here. We have three suits. And why do we know it's three suits? because we have three colors shown on the card for that hand. So take a look on the card at line number two and you will clearly see there are three colors there. So I used dots for my first suit and then it says in parentheses that the Kongs can be any like even numbers. So that means they could be twos, fours, sixes, or eights. Now you're probably beginning to see how many variations we have of each line. Yep, this hand could be made with twos, fours, sixes, or eights for those two Kongs. And the first suit can be whatever suit you choose to begin with, as long as the even numbers following are not the same as the suit that you began with. So for an example, if I were to start out this hand with cracks, I would need to change out this Kong at the end to dots. You're going to get a little better understanding of this whole concept as we move through these. It might be a little challenging right now to picture the card and visualize all of this. It is a lot to absorb and take in, but trust me, you will get it. Before we move on to the next hand, I also want to point out that we have in the beginning groupings a pair of twos, a single four, a single six, and another pair of eights here. What can't you use in singles and pairs? That's right, we cannot use our little friendly jokers here. Nope. No way, no how, it's not allowed. So that does make the hand a little bit more challenging and we'll learn more about why it's so challenging in a future lesson. All right, now we'll move on to the number two hand. And on the card, this is line number five. So go ahead and locate line number five for this sample hand number two. And feel free to pause the video anytime you need to take some more time locating the hand. This particular hand says in parentheses, any three suits, twos and eights only. So the first suit we have shown here are the dots. You might be already asking yourself, how can there be three suits? I only see the two dot and eight dot suit tiles here. This is when you really need to know the suit to dragon partnerships by heart. The red partners with the cracks. So this is considered the crack suit. With the green shown here, the greens partner is the bam. So you can look at this at dots for the two dot pung and the eight dot pung 
and we have cracks for the Kong of Red Dragons and Bams for the Kong of Green Dragons. Now let's talk about switching this first suit out to another suit. If you were to change the twos and eights to cracks, you would need to use the soaps here because if you used cracks for the twos and eights, the red dragon representing the cracks would be the same suit. And because you need to use three suits as shown in parentheses, you would need to change those out. If you used BAMs for the twos and eights, you would need to change the BAMs out to the soaps. This can all be quite challenging to grasp, but again, I promise you this will all come together as the lessons proceed. All right, let's move on. Now we come to the Any Like Numbers section on the card, and this sample hand is line one under the Any Like Numbers section, so go ahead and locate that hand on your card. In this sample hand, you will see that it begins with with four flowers and then I have chosen to use sevens in this example. We've got a conga seven dots, a pair of seven bams, and a conga seven cracks because in parentheses it clearly says it has to be any three suits and any like numbers. So again, regardless of whether I use ones or twos or threes, because we could go right up to nine, it has to be the same number carried out throughout. And it doesn't matter what order the suits are in or which suit you choose to use for the pair, as long as you use three suits suits. It can be any way you choose. Lots of flexibility and lots of variations on this card. Now we're going to move on to the addition hands section and the sample hand shown here is line number three and it says any three suits. So go ahead and find this line number three under addition hands. Now remember earlier I said it really should say any three suits these numbers only. You just have to remember that because it is missing from the parentheses. In this particular sample hand I've used the third hand down and that is 3 plus 3 equals 6. The plus and equal sign shown under the addition hands are merely symbols to explain the math equation. 3 plus 3 equals 6. Again, these hands must be shown with the numbers as shown on the card you cannot make up your own math equation. And they must be three suits. So here I have cracks, dots, and bams. You could switch up the suits any way you want. You could use bams where I have three cracks. You could use cracks where I have three dots. And you could use dots where I have six bams. So all three suits must be used any order you choose. Next up, the quince section. Now we're on the middle panel of the card. In this sample hand, I'm using line number one under the quince. So go ahead and locate your line number one under the quince section of the middle panel. And this particular hand has any two suits noted, any like numbers, and any wins. I chose to use nines as my number. I chose east for my wins. And the two suits I am using are dots and bams. But again, <laughs> and I keep saying that because there's a lot of repetition here, you can use any two suits that you wish. You could use cracks and dots or cracks and bams or bams and cracks. It doesn't matter. And with the east, you can use 
north, west, or south instead of east. Look at all of the variations again that you could make with this hand. Since this is a quint hand, what are you going to need to use in each one of the quint groupings? you're going to need jokers. So these hands are a bit harder to make if you don't have jokers. I usually don't look at playing these hands unless I start out with a few jokers, but sometimes you just never know how things are going to go. You could pick a lot of jokers in and things could just fall into place creating a quint hand. Now we're going to move on to the consecutive run section, which is the middle section of the middle panel on the card. And my first sample hand here is going to be line number five, right side of the line. And in parentheses, it says any one or three suits. We have a pair of flowers to begin in this hand, and then we have dots, bams, and four cracks. Now we are in the consecutive run section. So that means that these numbers must be in a run. A run is an increase in numbers in the sequence. So in this particular hand, the run is two, three, four. But since it could be any run, because this consecutive run section is that flexible, and the only two hands that have to be exactly the numbers shown are line one, both the left and right side. All other hands can be any run that you choose. I've used two, three, and four, and on the right side, it is any three suits. In parentheses, it says any one suit or three, because if you take a look at line number five on the left side, it shows one color. So that would mean one suit. So you can make this hand in one suit with any three numbers in your run, or on the right side of that line, make it in three suits as I have shown here, with any three consecutive numbers for your run. So you could do one, two, three, two, three, four, four, five, six, etc. as long as the run ends in nine. You can choose to use any three suits that you want in any particular order for the numbers you choose. So if you wanted to make the dots the bams and the three bams the dots, you could do that. It doesn't matter as long as the end result is showing three numbers in a row and three suits. All right, now let's take a look at line seven in the same section. So go ahead and locate your line seven for my second sample hand shown here. You could start out with ones and twos and use threes, or you could start out with twos and threes for your pairs and use fours. Now taking a look at the hand that I have here, you'll see that there is a pung of jokers because when playing this hand, the player didn't have any cracks for the pung of threes. Instead of using cracks, this player was lucky enough to have the jokers to use and since you could use as many jokers as you want in pungs, kongs, or quints, this would be acceptable. Visualizing this hand with cracks, you would have a pair of one dot, two dots, three cracks, and three bams. If you were to start out with five dots, you'd have a pair of five dots, a pair of six dots, and then you would have a pung of sevens in cracks and another pung of sevens in bams, two separate suits. So there are three suits and three consecutive numbers. It doesn't matter 
what suit you start out with for the two pairs as long as you use the other two suits for the pungs shown on the card. And it is very clear when you look at that hand on the card that there are three colors and three colors mean three suits. But you have that reminder in the parentheses here, which is great. Alrighty, now we're gonna move on to the next section directly under the consecutive run section. And that is the odd number section of the card. In the sample hand number one here, we're going to be looking at line one on the left side of the card. So go ahead and locate line one under 13579. I have chosen to use cracks for this hand and I have used all cracks because on the left side of that line there is only one color and one color means one suit. However, I can use whichever suit I prefer. This could have been done with dots or it could have been done with bams as long as I used the same suit throughout. You could take a look at the right side of that same line. You don't have that shown here, but you could take a look at the right side. It's the same hand. However, you have three colors there. And that means you must use three suits if you're going to be playing that right side of line number one on the card under 13579. Now we're going to take a look at the second sample hand I have here, and that will be line number five, left side of the card, and the parentheses states any three suits. So go ahead and locate line number five under the 13579 section and take a look at this hand. We have a pair of ones, a pung of threes, we have a kong of dragons, we have a pung of threes, and a pair of fives. Let's break this all down. In parentheses, it says three suits. So if you look at this hand, I have bams and dots for the numbers. Now you need to know your dragon suit partnership to know which dragon to use that represents and takes on the persona of the rack because this requires three suits. So if we have bams and dots and you know you've got to use a dragon shown on that card, you must know which dragon to use. And that would be the red, which represents the crack. If you used dots for the ones and threes, and you used cracks for the threes and fives at the end, so dots and cracks instead of bams and dots, so dots and cracks, what dragon would you need to use here? Dots and cracks instead of bams and dots. Dots and cracks. What is the missing suit? It would be the bams and therefore you would need to use the green dragons here. Make sense? I know it's confusing, but it's all going to come together. So hang in there with me. Let's do one more scenario here. Let's say that we use one and three cracks and we use three and five beams. What suit is missing? The dots would be missing in that case. So we would need to use the soaps for the dragons. All right, let's move on. We are now going to discuss the winds and dragons section sample hands on the third panel of the card and the very top section. And this is going to be line number two on the right side. And in parentheses, it says any run. So go ahead and locate line two on the card so we could go over my sample hand number one. Line two on the right side 
shows east and west and then a run of numbers. It's a pung of east, a pung of west, a pair for your first number, a pair for your second number, and then a kong. This run could be any run as long as you don't go above nine. Why? Because we only have suit tiles numbered one through nine. If you decided to start with ones, you could do one, two, three, two, three, four, and so on. And it does say any run, and it does show any color. In addition to this being any run, that hand also shows one color, indicating that you must use one suit. It doesn't matter which suit you use, and if you're thinking about it already, there was not enough room to put in the parentheses any run, any one suit. You just have to know that, but now you know it because I'm explaining it to you. So you can make a note if you need to about this so that you don't forget, but this can be any one suit and any run. And because we're working on the right side of that line, you must use east and west. If you decided to play the left side of that line, you would use north and south. The second sample hand here is line six under the Winds and Dragons. Go ahead and find line six on your card. This hand in parentheses says any two dragons. So any two dragons means any two dragons. Every dragon within the Kong must match. So you could not use a combination of greens and reds here in this Kong. They must be all the same dragon. And this hand has a pair of north, a single tile east, another single tile west, and a pair of south. And what can can we not use in those pairs and singles? I think you're getting it by now. No jokers in those groupings in the middle of this hand. All right, let's move on to our 369 section sample hands, and that would be directly underneath the Winds and Dragons on the right panel. We're going to look at line number four for this first sample hand. And line number four says in parentheses, any three suits with opposite dragons. This is another situation where you must know your suit and dragon partnerships. And we're gonna go over this and you'll see how this plays out and why it is so very important for you, you to know those partnerships without having to think twice about them. In this hand, we have a pair of flowers and we start out with three pairs of 369 tiles. Now, this is the 369 section, so we are going to only see the numbers three, six, and nine in this section. I've chosen to start out with the dots. And since this says in parentheses you need to use the opposite dragons, you have to imagine what suits would be opposite to the dots. So in your mind, if you first say, okay, I have dots here, but I'm missing bams and cracks, you then could fill in your opposite dragons with the dragon that represents the bams and the dragon that represents the cracks. And that makes three suits, dots, bams, and cracks. Yes, I know this is challenging, but let's go over this a few more times. Let's say I chose to use bams for the 369. Now, what suits are you missing if I'm using BAMs? You're missing cracks 
and dots. Now you need to know what dragon partners with the cracks and dots. So for the cracks, it would be red and the dots, it would be soaps. You would have the reds representing the cracks and the soaps here representing the dots if you use three, six, and nine bands to start. If we start with cracks, three, six, nine cracks, you have to know what other two suits are missing, the bams and dots. And then you would have to know what dragons match those bams and dots. Well, we already have the greens here, which match the bams, so that would be fine. But we can't use the reds here because we've started this with three, six, nine cracks, and we need to use three suits. So the other missing suit is is the dot and the dragon that partners with the dot is the soap. So these would have to be soaps. But remember, you could rewatch this over and over again until this starts to make sense. Now the sample hand number two below is shown on line six under 369 section. So find line six and we'll read what's in parentheses first. It says any two suits, sixes and dragons must match. Again, you have to know your suit and dragon partnerships. I did mention when we first learned that how important it was to memorize that. You're getting to see exactly how important that is and how it plays out in so many hands. I just want to encourage you, if you haven't already studied this and memorized it, to please do so. You do not want to limit yourself to playing only hands without dragons because that's going to limit your ability to become a better player. All right, let's go ahead and look at this hand. Three dots are my Kong, six bams are my Pung, nine dots are my Kong with greens for the Pung of dragons. Now in the parentheses, it says that the sixes and the dragons must match. And you're having two suits here. So in this particular hand, I've used dots for the threes and on the card, you could see that the threes and nines match in color. So I'm using dots for the threes, so I have to use dots for the nines. And then I have to use a second suit for my sixes, so I've chosen to use bams. Then it says that I have to use the matching dragon. Well, what is the matching dragon to the bams? The partner to those bams is our green. Let's change this up and use cracks for our threes and nines. And in the middle, we're gonna use dots for our sixes. Now we have to get the partner to the six dots, which would be our soaps. So this would have to change out to soaps. And finally, if you wanted to change the three and nine dots out to bams and use six cracks for the pung in the middle, the partner to the six cracks is the red. So this would need to change out to red. All right, let's continue on to our final section on the card, and that would be the singles and pairs section, the hardest section on the card, because they are all singles or pairs, and you cannot use a what in singles or pairs. Yeah, I know, I'm repeating myself an awful lot, but this is something pretty important to remember. And as many times as I say it throughout this lesson, you will more than likely forget at least a few times while you're learning the game. So I'm gonna remind you as many times as I can. You cannot use jokers in a single grouping or a single tile or a pair ever. It is not allowed in this game of American Mahjong. This sample hand is line number two under singles and pairs. And in parentheses, it says any three suits and any two consecutive numbers. So for this particular hand, I have used 
the consecutive numbers as six and sevens. So I have my three suits, cracks, dots, and bams. It doesn't matter what order you put them in, but I have started my consecutive numbers with six and sevens, and so it does repeat because it's any three suits and any two consecutive numbers, and so they repeat. Doesn't say on the card, because there is no room, I don't believe, any three suits, any two consecutive numbers, and the consecutive numbers must match. But if you look at the card, it shows them matching, and that would be the clue there. You can use any run you want. If you start with twos, you would use twos as the starting point. Two, three, two, three, two, three. And you must use any three suits as stated in the parentheses. Doesn't matter what order the suits are in, as long as you've used all three suits for each one of the consecutive numbers has to be their own suit. As shown here, six, seven are cracks, the second six, seven are dots, and the third six, seven are bams. Now, I also want to make mention that this section on the card is pretty cool because, yes, the section is challenging to make, but each one of the hands under the singles and pairs are baby bits of the bigger sections. And further on in the lesson, you're going to see why that's important to know, especially if you want to try and go for a singles and pairs hand and need to switch out into something else. Again, you will learn much more about this in future lessons, but just keep in mind that the singles and pairs are merely baby bits of the bigger hands and the other. And I can just give you one example here. If you take a look at the very first line under singles and pairs, you have all odd numbers, one, three, five, seven, nine, and that's baby bits of the category one, three, five, seven, nine in the middle panel of the card, third section down. The next part of the lesson is going to be a lot of fun and interactive, so get ready to put your thinking cap on. The hand I have shown here has an error in it. And this hand is in the 2023 section at the upper left-hand side of the card. I'm just going to give you the hint of what section it's in, but I want you to take your time and locate this hand on your card. And pause the video so you can do that and also look for the error. And then once you've located it and you know where the error is, go ahead and hit play and I will point out which hand it is and I will also give you the answer. The answer for this hand is that there is a joker in the single grouping news. Jokers cannot be used in a single group or a standalone single tile. So let's take a look. There's the joker being used as a west, and that hand is line number four under the 2023 section of the card. There you have it. No jokers for singles. The next hand I have here is located in the 2468 section, and this hand is the second line under 2468 in parentheses says any three suits, kongs, any like even numbers. So that means that those kongs at the end of that hand can be twos, fours, as shown here, sixes, or eights. So go ahead and pause the video and take your time to try and find this hand. When you're ready to proceed, click play and we'll go over the answer. There is a joker in the two single tiles. Jokers cannot be used in a single group or standalone tile. How'd you do on that one? 
All right, let's move on. The next hand we have here is shown in like numbers. Can you spot the error in this hand? Now this section only has two hands, so it should be pretty easy for you to pick out which hand we're talking about and find the error. Pause the video, take your time to figure it out, and then click play and here's the answer. Since the hand calls for like numbers, all the numbers must be the same. The six cracks shown should be five cracks. So let's go ahead and take a look again at that. We have five dots, five bams, and these six cracks should have been five cracks. Good job. Let's move on to the next one. All right, this one is in the addition hands. Can you find this? hand in the addition hands and can you point out the mistake here once you've paused and then click play again your answer will be the hands in the addition hand section must be the number shown a player cannot make up their own math equation remember earlier we talked about that this is incorrect. This needs to be one of the four lines shown on the card. So either one plus one equals two, as in line one, two plus two equals four, as in line two, three plus three equals six, as in line three, and four plus four equals late eight, as in line four. All right, good job. That was a hard one. Next up is the hand shown here, and this is in the consecutive run section. So pause your video and take a look and you spot the error here. You need to know your suit and dragon partnerships to figure this one out. Once you have figured it out, hit the play button and let's look at the answer. This hand requires the dragon math the suit. Therefore, the partner white dragon or soap would need to be used. These greens should have been soaps. All right, let's move on here. This is a consecutive run hand in the consecutive run section. So see if you could locate this hand under consecutive run and point out the error. Go ahead and pause your video so you have time to do that. And when you're ready, click play and we will get the answer now. And this is line number four on the card. All right, this was a toughie. There are actually two errors in this hand. The first one is the numbers are not consecutive. And since we are playing in the consecutive section of the card, the numbers must be in consecutive number. They must be a run. Again, we're looking at line four of the consecutive run section. The other error is since there are four numbers in this run, the run would need to start with a lower number, being sure that the run did not go above the number 9. Let's take another look now that we know the errors. We have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, we have 6, 7, 8, 9, but 6, 7, 8, and then this Kong and this Kong are supposed to go in a run order. So, starting with six would make this hand impossible to happen and have being able to have a run. So let's start it with five and see how it works out with a five. Five, single five, six, pair of sixes, a pung of sevens, then we could have eights and nines. So if you change this beginning part to five, six, seven, you then have a correct hand with eight and nine. And in parentheses for that hand, it says any three suits, any five 
five consecutive numbers. That would be five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you have your five consecutive numbers in three suits. It doesn't matter what suit you begin with as long as you use the other two suits in the last two numbers of this run. Get it? I think you're starting to get it about now, but hang in there. It's going to get even clearer as the lesson goes on. This part of the lesson is going to be about you filling in the missing tiles. This might take a little bit more time, but you've got plenty of time because you can pause the video for as long as you need to complete each one of these hands. I'm going to give you a clue and I'm going to tell you that this hand can be found in the any light numbers section and there are tiles missing from this. So pause your video and when you're ready, click on play and we'll proceed get the answer to the missing tiles. The answer is the three single dragon tiles are missing from this hand. The green, the red, and the soap. Take a look. The green single tile is missing from this hand, which is the second hand under any like numbers. The red is missing from the cracks and the soap is missing from the dots. How did you do on that one? All right, let's move on to the next one. This hand could be found in the consecutive run section. Let's see if you could find the hand and then fill in the missing tiles. Pause the video and then hit play when you're ready for the answer. And the answer is a pung of four cracks is missing. This is line number one on the left side of the consecutive run, if you will recall line number one both the left and right side must be those numbers only it's the only line where you can't choose your own run and in this hand the four cracks is missing so if you got that one right give yourself a big pat on the back of course keep in mind that you could use any suit that you want as long as all of the tiles are the same suit because on the left side of that line line one consecutive run it shows one color all right let's go ahead and move on to the next one this is a consecutive run as well so this can be found in the consecutive run section go ahead and pause the video now so you could fill in the missing tiles and when you're ready to move on we'll check the answer and the answer is a pung of six cracks is missing. All right, let's take a look. What hand is this? Oh, this was one of the sample hands we used earlier. And this one is line number seven under the consecutive run section. And what's missing here? The six cracks. So this is a run of four, five, and six. And in parentheses, they have it written that it is any three consecutive numbers and so the pung is repeated as shown on the card you have matching pungs that gives you the clue that it has to be repeated and you can start it out with any run as long as you don't go above nine when you end it all right let's move on to the next one can you find the missing tiles here this hand can be found under the one three five seven nine section pause your video and when you're ready to click play to look at the answer here this is hand number one in the one three five seven nine section and the tiles that are missing are five dots the right side of line one under one three five seven nine shows three colors which means three suits so you know that if you're using cracks and bams you've got to use the third suit which is dots kong of five dots is missing good job let's go on all right here's another hand and this is also a hand that can be found in the one three five seven nine section see if you can locate it and tell me the missing tiles Pause your video, take your time. When you're ready, click on play and we'll get our answer. A pung of three dots and a pair of five dots is missing. 
This is hand number five, and this is the hand on the right side of line number five. We have ones and three cracks. We have the dragons here that are representative of the bams. So we now need to find which suit is missing from this hand, and that would be the dots. We have cracks, we have the greens representing the bams, and we would need to have the dots here. And that clearly says in parentheses, any three suits. This is another example of how important it is to know the suit dragon relationships. All right, let's move on. Good job. Now we have the hand that can be found in Winds and Dragons. Can you fill in the missing tiles here? Pause your video, and when you're ready, again, hit play. And the answer is a Kong's of south is missing and if you go to the winds and dragons section if you found it this is hand number four in that section and it is the hand on the left side and you could see that we have our kong of norse and our single grouping 2023 with south missing. Now please note that I have used cracks, but since the line shows one suit for 2023, this can be any one of the suits. So you could use cracks, dots, or bams. They probably should have noted that on the card, but I don't believe there was enough room to put that information in parentheses. So you have to know that or be taught that as I am teaching you now. A Kong of South was missing. All right, moving on to the next hand. This hand can be found in the 369 section. Can you fill in the missing tiles here? Again, pause your video, take your time, and when you're ready, go ahead and click at our answer. And the answer is a Pung of White Dragons, otherwise known as Soaps, is missing. Let's go back here and look at that hand. That is hand number six, or the second from the bottom, under 369. Great job if you found it. And if you filled in the missing piece, it says that the soaps are missing here, and that would be the bams and dots. Girlis. In parentheses, it says any two suits, and the six and the dragons must match. So particular case, I've used six dots here. The matching dragon to the six dot would be the soaps. If this were a pung of six cracks, the missing dragon would be, yep, you got it, reds. The missing dragon would be reds. And the threes and nines can be whatever suit you decide to start out with. And just remember that whatever you start out with for the threes and nines, because those show as matching colors on the card, they must be the same suit. Then you could pick whatever suit you want for that second suit for the Punga Sixes, and then match the dragon that partners with that Pung of Six in whatever suit you choose. In this, how did you do with all of these exercises? I know it's not easy, and guess what? You can watch this video over as many times as you want, and you could do those exercises over as many times as you want. No pressure, no rush to do so. Things will start coming into place for you. This is a challenging game. I will not deny that. And I want to encourage you to stick with it and to believe in yourself and believe in the ability to learn this absolutely fantastic and wonderful game. And that wraps it up for lesson two. And please, if you haven't done so already, once you finish this video, be sure and subscribe for the Majkan YouTube channel and consider joining the Majkan Facebook group and Instagram page so that we stay connected in all ways. I will be having videos posted regularly 
after the beginner series. I will be working on an advanced beginner series and you'll get notices as long as you're subscribed to the channel when those videos are ready and posted. Any questions or comments, please email me at debbie at